Hi, my name is Mark. I'm uh, with Hardwood Artisans. This is Kevin. This is Hector. I'm going to show you how to put a side panel bed together. Um, we've laid all the parts out in front of the camera here. Uh, basically, you have your main body or the face of the cabinet. You have a side, another side, footboard, a roof, headboard, and the top of the cabinet. In addition, there's an assortment of hardware that comes with uh, the order. Unfortunately, some assembly is required on this but it's uh, pretty straightforward, and uh, Kevin and Hector will show you how, and I'll be narrating. Uh, basically, we're gonna start off with the sides, and we're gonna attach them to the main body. Go ahead. We have a nylon bushing here that's already on. You can see this. And we have this funny little clip right here. Bushing stays on the cabinet side. The clip is what retains it, and that goes on the inside here. Okay, go ahead and put it on. There's a metal plate with a hole in it that the pin slides through. You just push it on, and then you're forcing the clip onto that pin in the groove. That's basically it on the sides in terms of their attachment. The next thing is to put the uh, gas struts on. And uh, they require a little manipulation. And I'll, I'll explain it as they're doing it. It'll make more sense. Go ahead. Yes, uh, the arrow on this uh, red label, the arrow indicates up is to say the top of the bed. So pay attention to the orientation of the struts. First you're going to attach it at the bottom and you just need to push it on the pin. In order to get it on the top you have to navigate the sides up and down to get the correct length. The next thing you're going to do is raise the sides up and get these little brass stops up on this frame of the panel bed. This is very delicate. You don't want those to fall off. So be very careful at this point. The next step is to put the roof on, and that uses those machine screws. Again, you want to be very careful at this point not to knock or bump anything. three screws on each side and this is the roof right here. They're just going to pick it up and uh, the face is the one with the overhanging piece of hardwood and that'll hang outside of the cabinet. And again, very gently set it into the case. And uh, a Phillips screwdriver or a cordless drill, either will work nicely. The uh, machine screw is threading into a T nut, so it's it's a metal metal contact. Uh, you don't need to over tighten these. Uh, just very snug is fine. Got it? Yep. Okay, the next thing is we're going to set the headboard in. Now, because the bed is on its face, everything's sort of backwards at this point. The headboard mounts to these blocks on the far left and far right, just on the uh, near the strut. And it seems a little odd to do it at this point, but we just find it to be easier. 
you have to find a way to navigate it in around the block. Just to say drop it under and then come back up. And you have to have a little balancing here where you're holding it with one arm and putting screws in with the other. It's not particularly difficult, it's just a little awkward. Same type of machine screws. Um, the headboard only requires two screws per side. Stand the bed up. Okay, it's starting to look like something. The next step is to put the footboard on, and this is a rather odd thing. It has two pins right here. Can you zoom in on that? These two pins. And they're going to go in for these uh, mechanical fasteners at the foot of the bed. What makes this odd is that the bed footboard actually is put on from the bottom and goes up. So what that means is the bed gets rocked back, the footboard goes on, the pins get lined up in their holes, and then it pushes up. So again, it's a little odd, but not difficult. Watch what they're doing. cabinet and put it up against the wall. You can slide this, as long as you don't have to go too far, you can slide it fairly well. It's pretty heavy at this point. So what we want to do at this point is we have to find the studs in the wall. We want to anchor this bed into the studs. Drilling a hole through this back a strip of wood into the studs. There's a back piece of wood here. That's where your attachment point will be. You also need to get the case square relative to the face. And that means it's a rack. You want to rack the cabinet until it's plump and square. If you're not familiar with this, it could uh, be a little challenging, but basically because the weight of the cabinet, you want to make sure the distance from here, the case side, to this face, this gap right here, is the same on this side as it is on this side. I've got about an eighth inch toe. So it's right about there. Sixteenth or so? Okay. So it'd be right about here. And then it gets attached to the wall. This is a stud finder. You can get this at any store if you don't have one. Um, or you can do it the old-fashioned way and hit the wall with a hammer until you do find the stud. When you locate the stud, drill a hole with this drill bit, which we're providing you. Uh, it has a little countersink on it. And then you're going to run a two and a half inch number eight screw into the, into the stud. It's important that you hit the studs. It's important that you get at least three screws in on this bed. Uh, four is better. Three is a, a minimum. Now, we're not actually going to mount this to this wall, but uh, you pretty much understand the idea. The last thing that's going to happen is, is the top is going to be placed on the unit. And we can just go ahead and set it up there. Okay. The uh, back of the top has a sharper edge on it, and you see the dovetail here. This is the back of the cabinet, not the front. The 
front is clean and has no visible routing details. This is a solid wood top. Now this top has been pre-mounted. Kevin, I want to pull this wood down. Would you Hector, hold the case side? Because this bed is not mounted to the wall right now, yeah, you're gonna put it in. we have to hold this thing in place. Once it's attached to the wall, you can just pull the unit down. There's a series of pre-drilled holes here that will line up with uh, pre-drilled holes at the battens inside of this top. Just simply take these uh, one and a quarter number eight screws, the shorter screws that we've provided, and you're gonna run them up in these holes and secure the top down. Don't overdrive these screws. They will pull right through this material here. Just pull it until the top pulls down flat. Once you put the uh, screws in, this is a screw cover. It's very small, odd looking cap that just covers the hole to hide the screw head. When you put the uh, mattress on, this is a mattress strap. This keeps the mattress from falling out. You'll want to put this on to hold the mattress in place. Basically, it's ready to go. So thank you and uh, good luck. If you have any questions, please call me directly at 877-999-9663. Uh, good luck.